The Salt City Market has become one of the most popular places to eat since it opened in downtown Syracuse. Andrew, I know you've made a couple of visits there. You yeah, love a, what you eat it's there. A, <laughs> it's a good spot. And as you can see on your next visit, you'll see some people in those yellow golden shirts. News Channel Live's Ira St. Moran introduces us to one of the new Rescue Mission Ambassadors. As an ambassador, Keith Chandler makes his rounds in and out of Salt City Market. Yeah, I'll greet the people as they come in. Um, I'll give them directions if they should need some where the bathroom is, certain vendors are. And um, I try to keep trouble down. You know, I'll, at least I'll make security aware of any trouble I see. Ambassadors wearing these gold t-shirts are meant to stand out. The Rescue Mission and Salt City Market teamed up to provide employment opportunities to clients with this ambassador program. A lot of times individuals that have experienced homelessness, there are stigmas around their ability to work. Um, and so this is us really trying to create some job skills for them to that are transferable to the rest of this community. Like many others, Chandler fell on hard times during the pandemic. I got laid off from my job like last year, March the 16th, because of the COVID. And I hadn't been able to find any work for quite a while. That's all changed with this program, which has given him independence, self sufficiency. The rescue mission is less than a mile away. The ambassador program was created to have an impact. It is about lowering the threshold to entry maybe into the workforce. So it is about opportunity. But it's really also, I think it's really important to keep that twinned with. People are bringing a certain expertise, a hard-won knowledge about human nature, how to work with different people from many different backgrounds. So if you're at the market and have a question, ambassadors are here for you. In Syracuse, Iris St. Moran, News Channel 9.